Hello. Today's episode is brought to you by the Western Extension Risk Management Education Center, USDA NEFA, the University of Hawaii College of Tropical Ag and Human Resources, the Livestock Extension Group, and the University of Nebraska-Lincoln Center for Ag Profitability. Aloha. Welcome to the Livestock Follow Ao, a podcast aimed to provide educational support, information, guidance, and outreach to our livestock stakeholders in Hawaii and the rest of the U.S. We are your hosts, Mele Oshiro and Shannon Sand. And today in this mini episode, we're going to talk a little bit about what's going on this month. And of course, as usual, we're going to ask for feedback. Yeah, I don't know why I wanted to sing it this month, but there you go. So <laughs> your feedback is important. It helps us know what programming you want and that we're on the right track for you. So if you can send us feedback, we really do appreciate it. The link will be in the show notes in the description box. So That's have right. your voice heard. Woo! Yes, that helps us a lot. Yes. And um, another survey that's still going, our beef consumer survey is still open. That was part of a project that both Shannon and myself um, and a few other colleagues have been working on. So this survey is going to help us gain a better understanding of our consumers' behavior here in Hawaii mm -hmm. um, when purchasing local beef from places around the county, uh, really. Um, you can access the survey using the links that'll be in the show notes. Mm -hmm. uh, all information that's collected is confidential and anonymous. And if you have any questions, you can give myself uh, an email or call the office and I'm happy to answer any questions. All right. And I just wanted to touch on one little thing. There is um, June 11th, um, the new, I guess, guidance or guideline for the antibiotic guidelines and now some of your over-the-counter medicines that you normally used to be able to get you can't you need a um, prescription from your veterinarian for that so that was the food and drug administration guidance uh, number 263 and yeah. we'll put a link for more information but i just want to let people know that something that happened in june um so yeah. Be prepared that if you do need antibiotics and some of the common ones that you used to get, you will need a prescription now from your veterinarian. So, you know, things that you can do if you don't, you know, if you don't need it right now, that's fine. But what you're going to need is a have a establish your veterinarian client patient relationship. So your VCRP or PR, I should say, um, and get those relationships um, done now so that when you do need antibiotics, you can reach out to your veterinarian for that. Yeah. You know, yeah. typically most veterinarians would want you to have a visit with your animals or your herd prior to establishing those things. So, you know, having routine visits and um, setting that relationship up with them and then they can work with you about those those kinds of things. So some of the antibiotics that commonly people use, you know, is like your ox oxytetracycline. So like your LA 200s, um, you know, those things for scours, all that kind of the teramycins mm -hmm. and tablets and all that stuff. You can't get those penicillins, sulfur-based antibiotics. Um, That's that we've been able to get since we were <laughs> yeah so all those over the counter ones, we could get those over the counter very easily exactly so yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so like even some thing. of the like wow. intramammary tube stuffs right so for the dairy guys today tomorrow's all those stuff you're gonna need um and yes. um prescription now so just be aware of that you know it is something that came about in june they were talking about it for a while um it is now in effect so you do need to have a prescription for that so go ahead and you know either reach out if you don't have a veterinarian that's your first step is get a veterinarian out get a relationship going and talk to one of your local vets to um, be able to get those prescriptions when you need them. Yeah. Yeah. So, and if you have any, you know, we'll put the links in there so you can read up online and whatnot about those new regulations. Yep. Fun, fun. Yeah. So the local meat capacity grant program is still open for a little bit more deadlines, July 19th. So uh, if you have not um, and have questions or whatnot, you need to get on it for that funding if you want to apply, because that will be closing soon. Yeah. Yeah. So July 10th uh, online. So it's a webinar. Uh, it is the ABC Q and A session. So, if you're interested in learning more about the Egg Budget Calculator, which is an award-winning uh, tool for producers that are interested in uh, learning more and understanding their budgets better, basically, it is a good session to check out if you're interested. So, Glennis McClure, who heads the ABC Budget Calculator program, is doing a Q and A session, and basically, what that is is you create your own online account and you can input your own. Uh, 
cost inputs as well as your physical inventories so that you have those every year and just kind of update as you go along. And then it creates different reports for you to look at either economic or cash. So like, um, like budgeting and things like that. So it's, it's really good for things like that and looking over. So, and then online at 12 PM CST, July 20th, finding balance, Nebraska women in ag. I do want to say we have more than just women from Nebraska joining this. So anyone throughout the West that wants to join it is more than welcome. It is 7 a.m. Hawaii time. So we'll say that. But basically, women in ag, as we know, uh, play significant roles in the work, the business, and the future of ag. Uh, farm culture, communication, dynamics, and the role in the family and community are just a few unique challenges that we experience as women uh, in the ag industry and just in general. So basically, this is just a conversation that you can join in and an opportunity to hear from women that are also going through similar things, kind of like that coffee shop or that uh, pat, I was going to say the Lanai chats or whatever you want to call it, talk stories. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's just a good opportunity to meet and connect with different women throughout the U.S. So if that's something you're interested in, feel free to sign up for that. It is at 7 a.m. Hawaii time, though, but 12 p.m. CST. So if you're in the mountain time zones, part of Nebraska, that's 11 a.m. But yeah. And you'll put the links all in our show notes for these. Already um, done. As well. Yeah. <laughs> we have and a lovely then... calendar with everything listed. You just click on the one you want and you can register right away. It's really easy. So very, very slick. And then just a, a job opportunity for working with UH. We wanted to mm -hmm. let you know that the two line Spitabug research assistant positions are still uh, open. And I believe they're open till the end of July or just about. So cool. um, if you are interested, you can find, we'll put the links for that um, mm -hmm. in there and you can go ahead and read a little bit, but it's basically working with Dr. Mark Thorne's team um, in the field working on the two line spittle bug project and you need to apply through the website the seeky website with university so mm -hmm. um yeah anyways you can look on there we'll put the links in there find more information you can also contact dr thorne if you have more questions about that position but it will close soon so yeah and then our upcoming guest this month on the podcast is <laughs> Melalani Oshiro. She's going to talk to us a little bit this month about some production tools and things yes. like that. So that will be very exciting. So make sure you stay tuned for that. And then we have lots of exciting livestock days in July, I feel like. Yeah, it's good livestock days, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, and of course, you know, 4th of July, Independence Day. That's a very important day coming up in July. And that is also National Barbecue Spare Rib Day. I'm really excited Enjoy that. that. <laughs> I know. Your 4th of July. And yeah. then we have... July 6th is National Fried Chicken Day, which is a personal favorite of mine. Right. It's even better if it's shoyu or Korean fried chicken or something. But, you know. July 14th, National Kebab Day. Those are always yummy. I know. Nas uh, July 19th is National Hot Dog Day. And July 27th, our National Chili Dog Day. You would think that'd be on the same day. I guess they're just putting it on. I would have thought so too, but there were two different days yeah. for that. And I was like, well, okay. Yeah. So, and then July 29th is National Chicken Wing Day, which I also am a fan of. So, why not, huh? Yep. So make sure to follow us on all our social media pages, the Livestock Val Al and the Livestock Extension Group, if you haven't already. Be sure to visit the UHCTAR website, the cap.unl.edu website, and our YouTube channel listed in the show notes. Yeah. And for additional information about this or any other topics or comments, send us an email at valao at hawaii.edu. Thanks for listening to the Livestock Val Al. Yep. Oh, before we go, show some love to your favorite podcast. Uh, by leaving us a review on Apple Podcasts or anywhere you listen to this and then stay tuned for next month. Yeah, thanks again to the sponsors, our <laughs> Western Extension Risk Management Education Center, USD, NIFA, the Livestock Extension Group, CTAR, University of Nebraska, Lincoln Extension, and Center for Ag Profitability. Mahalo for listening. Ahui ho. Ahui ho.